Let's discuss problem number 9.36 Ray Optics Standard 12 Physics NCRT textbook. This is a very good problem and if you do not understand what the Cassegrain telescope is, please have a look at the description. The link is given in the description. There is a very good video which will explain you all the basics of this one. So this is a primary mirror which is a concave mirror having focal length 110 mm. Then the center part of the mirror is, is cut like this and then you have the secondary mirror right so basically the primary mirror is like this and you are cutting it from the middle portion and then you are looking at the side view so that is what it is now this is the secondary mirror which is convex mirror now you have to understand this very carefully that you are looking at an object at infinity so the rays are going to come parallel they are going to hit the primary mirror now since this is a concave mirror the rays are going to converge and in absence of this, they would converge at the focus of the primary mirror. But instead, we have placed a convex mirror somewhere in between. So now what is going to happen? Let us see that. So for this mirror, the object is at infinity and the image would be at the focus. The distance between both the mirrors is given to us as 20 mm. Now since we do know that all distances will be measured from the pole of the mirror, so this distance is the focal length of the primary mirror which is 110 mm. Now this is the location of the image for this particular mirror. All right. Now this image will behave as the object for this mirror. Now if you look carefully these two are rays which are appearing to be meeting at this particular point. So when these kind of rays the converging rays fall on the mirror they give rise to an object which is known as virtual object. If you don't know what virtual objects are, again the link is provided in the description. So for this mirror, this image is going to behave as a virtual object. right? So for this mirror, this is the center of curvature. So when the rays fall, we know that it is going to reflect. But the normal is going to pass through C. So after reflection, this ray is going to go somewhere like this. Now how do I know? Let us check that. So this is the image which is going to behave as the object for this mirror and this distance would be 110 minus 20 so 90 mm. So I should say that the object distance for the secondary mirror is 90 mm. The focal length of the secondary mirror is plus 70 mm. Now I should say that you apply the sign conventions very carefully. Now since this is the incident ray for this mirror, so all distances along the incident ray would be positive. So even the object distance would be positive because the incident ray is going in this direction and all distances are measured from pole. And even the focal length would be positive because parallel ray after diversion they will meet somewhere over here. So the focus is also behind the mirror so plus. So now let us apply 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u. So 1 upon 70 is equal to 1 upon u is 90. Yeah, so plus 1 upon v, so u is plus 90. So if it, this goes on the other side. Minus 1 upon 90, that is 1 upon v. Now on solving this further, that is 90 minus 70 upon 7 nines are 63 that is equal to 1 upon v. So 20 upon 630 is equal to 1 upon v, 0, 0 cut. And on reversing this one, v is equal to, we get 63 by, okay, I made an error, here should be double zero, again like this. So it will be 630 by 2, so it will be 2 ones are 3, 1, 5. So this is 3, 1, 5 mm. Please note all distances are in millimeters. Now you have to understand this very carefully that this distance is plus. So that means the image is also formed on the same side of the object. Because in the direction of incident ray the image would be formed. So the image, final image is formed over here. So for this mirror, this is the object, object at infinity and this is the image. For this mirror, this is the object and final image is again over here and since the object image are on the same side, the object is virtual, the image is also virtual in nature. If you feel, you can definitely comment in the uh, post your valuable comments in the comment section that the image is on the left hand side of the mirror because this is possible.